meme stock trading risk. This is Ken Boyd. So what you're going to see on the next screen is the stock price change for Bed Bath & Beyond for October 19th, for August 19th to 22. And you'll see that the stock declined over 40% by the for the day, just in one trading day. And while I don't wish this upon my worst enemy, I think there's some lessons to be learned about stock market risk when you have a stock with this insane level of volatility. So let me compare it to another dangerous behavior. Don't juggle chainsaws. You've probably seen people juggling lots of dangerous objects, including fire sticks and chainsaws that are running. Some people have this ability and the proper training not to hurt themselves. However, we have a problem. Technology now allows investors and maybe thrill seekers the ability to stock tra trade stocks easily. And stock market risk can't be ignored. You may be familiar with Robinhood and other trading pattern platforms that offer mobile phone access to the markets. And when you add in the dozens of outlets providing content that you can read about on this mean stock craze, you have the perfect storm of stock market risk. You may have seen that a student made $110 million trading the Bed Bath and Beyond stock. So we need to talk about a term called the greater fool theory. Vestipedia states the greater fool theory, quote, argues that prices go up because people are able to sell overpriced securities to a greater fool, whether or not they are overvalued. That, of course, works until there are no greater fools left, and that's when the prices decline. Investing risk can be reduced if you're educated and pay attention to market risk. For example, if the broad market, say the S&P 500 index, declines, that increases the risk that an individual stock price will also decline. If you have huge swings in value, there's even more risk, and that's what we're seeing with Bed Bath & Beyond. So there was another investor who took advantage of the greater fool theory, possibly Ryan Cohen, and according to Yahoo Finance, quote, retail traders were quick to flock to the side of Chewy founder and GameStop chair Ryan Cohen when he purchased a stake in Bed Bath & Beyond in March. Six months later, he filed intent to shell, sell his shares in the embattled retailer and accusation to fly and because he's a large shareholder and also the chairman, he has to disclose it. One institutional investor is suggesting that Cohen used the retail price to retail investors, meme stock investors, to pump up the stock for his own benefit. Who knows if the allegations are true? The point is that people seem to be selling and buying the stock in huge quantities. And the question is why? And let's ask a basic question. Did Bed Bath & Beyond make any money? Do they make any money? And the fact is, for the last four years, the answer is no. They've had four consecutive years of losses. So there's no fundamental reason to drive the price up 40% for a company that has losses each year, which is why a decline of 40% makes total sense. 